Have you ever wanted to be able to play your own screaming blues guitar solos anywhere on the fretboard? Well, on the journey to becoming a blues guitar master, one of the things you have to do is work on soloing and you wanna be able to tap into specific sounds on the fretboard. Now I say sounds or scales, I use those two words often interchangeably because I'm thinking about this almost like a painter would, where they would have a palette of colors that they can choose from. And I think of these scales or sounds as colors. So for example, the major scale has a very specific sound to it, while the blues scale has another completely different sound. And so as I'm soloing, I'm trying to tap into what I'm feeling and where I want to take the solo. But in order to do that, you have to become familiar with these sounds on the fretboard. So I'm gonna show you five blues scales in this video that every guitarist should know. And four of them you may have heard of, but the last one you probably haven't. So make sure you stick around till the end. I'm gonna show you the scales, and then I'm also gonna give you some licks. We're gonna work on some vocabulary so you know how to apply these sounds and start playing your own solos. So let's dive straight in. The first scale we're gonna check out is the G major blues scale. Now this starts on the third fret here, and I'm gonna show you just one octave. It uses the notes G, A, B flat, B, D, E, and G. So that's one octave here, G, A, B flat, B, D, E, G. You can come back down. I'm gonna be showing you all of these in the key of G right here. And that scale, you know, a lot of players learn the minor blues scale, but the major blues scale, again, has a different sound. It has a different color to it. So if I was playing just over a groove, let's say we were playing over a blues in the key of G, we had kind of a swing and feel like. I might play something like this. So what I'm doing here is I'm using those notes, but I'm arranging them in a way that sounds cool. It doesn't sound like I'm just going up the scale. Now, step one is to learn the scale. And here I'm just showing it to you in one little area, but all of these scales can be worked out anywhere on the fretboard. Now that takes quite a bit of time, but one thing you would do after that, and I like to often just jump straight into it, you know, a lot of teachers will say, learn all your scales first, and then you can start working on soloing. But I like to kind of get into the soloing right away, is you work on your vocabulary. So this lick, is using that scale. So I'm playing here the fifth fret on the fourth string, and then I'm gonna slide three to four on the third string, then three on the second string, five, then three on the first string. So I'm walking up there. Then I come back down to that G note, that first note we started on, the fifth fret of the fourth string. Then I end sliding three to four on the third string. Now I'm using eighth notes and some triplets. We're starting here on the and of one like this. Three and four and one and two and a three and a four and one and two and a three and a four and. Here it is over the groove. Now that's a great sound. You'd hear B.B. King play licks like that, like. It's the major blues scale. So that's the first scale. Now the second scale I wanna look at is the G minor blues scale. And this is the scale that most players are referring to when they say the blues scale, like 
If I just said the G blues scale, I would most likely mean the G minor blues scale. So this starts on that same note, G, third fret of the low E, and we're gonna go three, six, you know, G up to B flat there, then C, C sharp, D, F, G. Those are the notes. So G, B flat, C, C sharp, D, F, G. Okay, three, six, three, four, five, three, five. Now again, that's just one octave there, but of course, you can play this scale anywhere on the neck. So that's something that you want to work out. And if you need help with that, I actually have a free blues scale PDF guide that shows you the five patterns that sort of flush out the neck. You can get it completely for free. Just go to johnmclennan.com slash blues scales if you want to see the exact patterns that I use that sort of expand on this. But that's the sound there, G minor blues scale, okay? Now, I might turn it into a lick like this. I might play. So you can see it has a different sound than the major blues scale. The minor is a little bit grittier, and I'm playing that against the major chord, by the way. So it's a G major chord, but I'm playing the minor blues scale against it, and that's a classic sound you hear in the blues all the time. So I'm bending up the fifth fret on the third string. That's going up a whole step. Then I grab these two notes here, three on the second string, three on the first string, then I come back down the scale, six, three on the second string, then bend five on the third string, up and then down, then three, five, three, okay, just sort of a little back and forth there, and then five on the fourth string, and then two fives on the fifth string. Now when I play this note, I often give a little bluesy bend there, so. And that's just part of the sound of the blues. There are certain notes in the scale that you push and pull on a little bit. And this is stuff that I've just picked up by learning songs and solos by artists like B.B. King and Eric Clapton and all the blues masters. So backing up, it starts on B2, it goes one and a two and a three and a four and a one and two and. So it's using triplets and eighth notes. Here it is over the groove. That's the G minor blues scale. Now for scale number three, this scale is the G mixolydian scale. And this scale is very similar, well it's actually the same notes as a C major scale, but we're gonna start on the note G. So check it out, it uses the notes G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay, so all natural notes there, just like C major. Now, this scale, again, has a different sound. You hear it in classic rock all the time. It's, a, it's like the go-to scale for playing over a dominant seventh chord. So here's a lick using that scale. We're gonna bend up the note B on the seventh fret of the first string. We're gonna go up a half step. And then we're gonna come down to the note G. So one and two and then we'll play the notes F, D there on six and three of the second string. Then play C on the fifth fret of the third string. Then F, D, that's the sixth fret, third fret on the second string. And then C there, so 
That's the fifth fret on the third string. And then I'm gonna do a little half step bend here. So there's some nice half step bends there between B and the note C on the fourth fret of the third string. You just go up and then bring it back down. So it goes. Here it is over the groove. All right, that's the G Mixolydian scale. Let's take a look at scale number four next. Now this one is called the chromatic scale. And what it is, is you play G to G up one octave and you play all the notes. So, you know, an easy way to just play this right away is G and just play every fret, so. up to G, up the octave. So the notes are G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G. This scale can add a lot of spice and color to your solos, and it's one that's not as common. You know, a lot of players don't talk about using the chromatic scale, but there's a lot of great lines that blues players play that use chromatic ideas. So here's an example of that in the key of G as well, over the groove. Here's what it sounds like. So this phrase, this chromatic run, you'll hear in that line, just going up every fret, blues players will literally milk this line for chorus after chorus. And it's just a great way to build the energy in your solo and just mix up the sound of your line. So here I'm playing the fifth fret on the fourth string. Then I'm walking up every note from B flat all the way to D. So that's frets three to seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now that part in itself could kind of be just a repetitive figure. You just want to kind of jam on that part of it. Then when you get out of it, you can go like this. Five on the fourth string. Then I roll my finger and go five, seven on the third string three slide to four so then i walk down a g chord here five on the fourth string five on the fifth string three one slide to two then end on five on the fourth string so again we're just outlining for those of my students that are in the cage system i'm thinking about this e shape chord here can visualize the chord and then I play the notes in the chord. So. Here it is over the groove. Two, three, four. A one, two, and again. All right, scale number five is a scale that you probably haven't heard of. I call it the John McLennan Blues Scale, and this is something that I've put together, again, after learning so many solos by the greats like B.B. King and Freddie King. And what you'll find is they blend a lot of these different ideas together. And so this scale can get that into your playing very fast. And what it is, is you take the G minor Blues Scale, <laughs> We're gonna add one note. 
we're gonna add the sixth scale degree. So in the key of G, the six is gonna be the note E. So we're gonna get the notes G, B flat, C, C sharp, D, E, F, G. And getting that up the octave, you know, if you thought about your minor blues scale that we play up here, that common position, you get this note. Now you can start mixing that in. You get a totally different sound. Instead of this harsh, you get that sweeter note in there, which is more of a BB King sound. And you get a whole new world that you can start blending in. Again, just kind of playing off your typical minor blues sounds. So here's an example of a lick that uses that scale. So what I'm playing here is three on the first string, then three on the second string, then six, three, five. So there's that's the notes of the scale, right? Then five on the third string, three on the second string, back to five on the third string, then we walk down. The classic blues walk down here. This is bending three on the third string just slightly, then five on the fourth string, and then two fives on the fifth string. Here it is one more time over the groove. So those are five blues scales that every guitarist should know. Hope you got some value out of this lesson. Now remember to work out these different patterns and grab my free blues scale PDF guide. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash blues scales. I left a link down below where you can check out more of these patterns and see how I work them out anywhere on the neck. Again, to really help you out with your soloing and learn the fretboard. As always, thanks for watching and for more blues guitar, check out this video next.